What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcast for the next episode of Portal Knights. My name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and play this lovely little game for another 30 minutes. I'm happy to have you here. It's super... Oh, look at that. We got a green portal shard. So I cleared out the rest of this map all by my lonesome, and then I went and I farmed out more shards. It took about 20-25 minutes to get 13 portal stones. That's enough to get us through the next couple zones. And so I figure if we kill things along the way and we make sure that we're focusing on stuff, we should be fine. What's that in my backpack? Don't worry about it, officer. It's just my palm leaf. I... I have no idea what that is. I picked it up somewhere. It's not mine. It belongs to a friend of mine. He was in the car a couple weeks ago. What's his name? I can't tell you his name, officer. You know how this works. <sighs> Welcome on back to the Nerd Castle. Today's episode, we might make a pretty solid jaunt towards the boss. I don't know. I've never actually played this next boss. I beat the worm boss on stream because with three hours worth of time, it was more than enough to get there. I think this gate right here is going to take us to here I think it's buried far enough down underneath the ground that it'll take us over to here I, oh no it took us to here interestingly enough it took us to a tropical I don't like the tropical zones the damp jungle that sounds entirely unpleasant it seems like the kind of place where you end up with trench foot I don't know if I'm down for this adventure I don't want to lose any toes it's a big caveat for me how many toes will I have remaining when I get done with this wondrous little adventure is that a ruby what is that right there it's a raw flame ruby. Okay. In the previous episodes, if you haven't been here or haven't stopped by in a little while, we went ahead and we took care... Oh, it's actually embedded in the wall. Okay. I've learned that I should pick up some of this stuff while I'm in the area because we've been doing upgrades and things like that lately. And it's actually a little bit concerning, like, how many rubies and emeralds and stuff like that you need in order to upgrade your skills. And so all the stuff that I've been throwing away over the course of the entire game, you were absolutely right, Nerd Castle. I screwed up. Unfortunately, due to the fact that I pre-record everything like a week out in order to make sure that every now and again I get a day off, you know, for the fam and all that. My mom, she's constantly harping on me that I work too much, and so I try, I try to minimize. I try to minimize. My, my girlfriend doesn't really say much about it because she knows this is how the bills get paid, but... My mom is constantly like, mama, 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 mama. you're working too much. Ain't nobody ever had, he was a hard worker put on his gravestone. He worked 90 hour weeks. I'm like, well, I don't, first of all, I wouldn't put that on my gravestone because it'd be disingenuous. I don't work 90 hour weeks, so these Kapongos, I swear to God. They're teleporting all over the place. They're shifty. Shifty. Got him. I'm going to try and kill things along the way. As I mentioned previously, if we don't kill things along the way, we're going to have a lot of trouble with shards. I don't think I actually need to clear this zone out. Like, I think this is like a loop back that takes us back to a zone that we've already been. Like, we could have picked either direction when we decided to zone in here. He's going to teleport either above or behind me somewhere. Where'd he go? Man. Like I said, Kapongos, right? Am I right? Kapongos. What's down in here? Is there iron on this map? If there's iron on this map, I would love to have it. I haven't been feeling real red-blooded lately, and I would like my red-bloodedness to be upgraded. One of the big upgrades I can tell you to work on is absolutely make sure you get the healing spell. The healing spell is clutch. This looks like it might burrow into a dungeon, so I'm going to give it a go. We don't have the best pickaxe right now, but this one will eventually get through the wall if we give it the time. Sorry it's a little dark right now, but you're going to have to live with it. I, I can fix it in a minute, but for right now, I'm mining. I'm mining. When I'm mining, I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone. I can't stop what I'm doing just to make sure. Oh, shit. So is there like a tower on this map somewhere that I missed? This place is looking fairly abandoned to me. It's also got worms. You gotta take it to the vet. Ugh. Saw a puppy with worms one time. It was so gross. Was like, oh god. If you've never seen an animal with worms before, it's pretty gnarly. It's not a fun experience. Definitely a tad disconcerting. I don't want to go into too much detail because I know I got those people in the audience right now with the soft stomach. They don't like the, the gnarly euphemisms and stuff like that. I get. I get bitched out about it all the time in the streams, too. They be like, Splattercat, you go too hard. That got vulgar very, very quickly. I'm like, well, that's because my streams, that's my after hours. Hey, I pressed the tab key. I pressed the tab key. Oh, my God. That is deeply frustrating. All right, so now that I just let a skeletal child kick the crap out of me, 
When I could have taken them both. I mean, I think I could have taken them both. Oh, we leveled up twice. Good. I leveled up while I was farming the stuff for the episode, and then apparently I leveled up again. We're getting beefier and stronger. Does that make you happy, Nerdcastle? Does that make you happy? Do you feel like we're getting better? Got to admit, it's getting better. Getting better roll it down. And a bunch of sharpening stones in here. Am I, like, stacked up on sharpening stones here? I need to work on these anyways, and I'm not planning on taking damage anytime soon. I'm gonna try and fix my gear while we're running around. It looks like that's a dead end right there. It's cool, though, that, like, when you go underground, you can find these little points where... Oh, that's not what I wanted either. So why can't I pick that one up right there? Is it, like, a special stone? Is it, like, a basalt sharp... Or is it a basalt star sharpening stone? Unfortunately, I need everything in my inventory right now, so I can't really dump much. The Electro Quartz is the only thing I'm thinking. I bet it's a Basalt Sharpening Stone, and it's actually better. It probably does like 50-60% of our durability. I'm just going to torch the hell out of this place. Because, can we go up that way? No, but we can go out this way. Looks like it goes down deeper. We're probably going to end up in a zone that we don't want to be in this way, but... Ah, well. That's fine. Chew on my face. I don't mind. It looks like it didn't do any damage, though. All of my hearts remain remarkably unshook. My microphone is in a weird spot right now. You'll forgive me. I'm going to sit here and fiddle with it for a second. Microphone now taken care of. It was... My microphone was sagging, and I don't like it when my microphone sags. They should... What these guys should do is they should line up along... There, tab's working now for whatever reason. It's just the bomb eyes you don't want to go down here with. All the other things are not really that big of a threat. Especially if they bunch up like that, because then you can cleave through them and hit multiples at the same time. Perfect. And then we'll get some more portal shards here. And it looks like we got a treasure off to the left. What do we got? Come on, big money. No whammy. Stop! In the name of love. What is that right there? It looks like a scroll and some other stuff. I don't know where I got this green portal shard from. I actually have no concept of where it dropped. The copper plate blocks we kind of need, because that's what our floor is going to be made out of at our house. And so I've been stacking those up just as kind of a means to... I don't need the Electro Quartz either. And the recipe for a Portal Guard's Saber. Do I just learn that now? Or, like, how do I... Oh, sweet! I didn't know there was recipes in the game! Like, I knew you unlocked them by upgrading your crafting tables, but I didn't know there was, like, hidden ones. That's super badass. That makes me happy. That makes me really happy. I'm gonna keep an eye out for that now. There was nothing but oh you can break doors by putting torches next to them. I learned things about construction today. Just go down, pal. Go down. There we go. I'm gonna eat that or I'm gonna drink that healing potion. I had to eat that one because it came out of the oven a little bit wrong. It came out a tad chunky. Some people don't like the extra chunky healing potions. Some people do. It's more of a preference, really. Yeah, it's a basalt sharpening stone. If I can get a bunch of those, I'll probably ditch all the lesser ones that I have. Salt sharpening stones. Another reason to have a bow with you. Right there. But it looks like we've dead-ended out here, unless there was a door back here that I sorely missed, and indeed there was, and there always is. I don't know why I'm like, I hit a dead end. Every single time I go down in the dungeon, I hit a dead end. I don't know. Just must not be very good at dungeon diving. There's got to be a portal down here somewhere. There's almost always a portal in these little areas. Is that going to loop back? And Oh, that actually falls through the earth. Kind of a dangerous room to live in, but all right. Salt sharpening stone, get us looking right. What's out this way? Nada. So this would be one of those little holes you see when you're out along the edge of the island where you like notice that there's definitely something down there, but you aren't quite sure how to get to it. I'm actually pretty stoked about this. This isn't that bad for us. Like this treasure right here, meh. I don't feel that sorely about it. I feel... Pretty good about the fact that we got a bunch of free basalt sharpening stones because that's going to make our lives a lot easier. A little disappointed that we appear to have run out of places to be. Dropped in through there, so I guess there's no... I suppose we can come back in through the other end, but... Yeah, there's not going to be a secret portal here. It's just going to be a portal that loops back to where we already came from. Eventually, the goal of the game is to unlock all of the shards and go to all the different zones, so bear that in mind as well. There's the swathing swamps. I need to drop stuff off at home, so you know what? I'm going to click on this right here. Let's go back to Crimson Woods for a little bit. We'll take a look around and see if there's any, like, our carrots have grown or anything like that. Farming systems are very light in this game right now, so I don't think it's going to be the kind of thing that keeps you entertained long term. But... Until we had the healing spell, I was thinking about building a whole bunch of potions for myself. 
Looks like our carrots are not quite done yet. So, a little bit of inventory management to be done here. Let's go ahead and drop off all the blocks we can. I know I haven't had a building episode in a while, but we don't really need the extra space at the moment. I am planning on kind of retrofitting things and making them look nice, but now is not the time. Now is not the time. I don't think I'm going to need more than a 64 stack of coal, so I'm not going to worry about it too much further. We've got iron ores. I'm going to put those in my backpack because we need to smelt these on out. I think it takes five per ore and then, oh, it's ten per ore. Okay. So that's way more expensive than I expected. I thought it was five per and it seems like it's going to take us a little bit to get anything really solid done using iron. I don't really need the seeds. This is going to be our sort of junk bin, I guess, for craftables. And it looks like we're maxed out on bones, so I'm going to go ahead and ditch the rest. We've got the palm leaf over here. Probably not going to throw that away. i got the furs, which we're going to need for crafting our next tier set. Blue portal stones can go in there. The copper we're basically all out of, so I'm going to start ditching the copper too because we don't need it. Is that full up right there? Getting closer. Here, take... Oh, I don't know. The cotton, maybe. We'll probably need it for later. This appears to be like the whatever drawer, so that's cool. Throw all of our whatevers in there. Linen cloth. I don't remember picking up linen cloth, but hey. Magical stuff has been going in here since the beginning, and so we got a whole bunch of magical things lined up inside of here. I've got frost sapphire dust. I've got frost sapphires, just in case we need those in their raw state. I've got refined frost sapphires, which look like they won't fit, but that's because we've got a thousand things in a thousand different chests, and for whatever reason, I haven't cleared them out yet. Perfect. And then the silk stack, actually. We need to figure out what we can do with this silk. Can I refine this at all? The linen cloth takes palm leaves, actually. So what use is the silk, then? Is that higher tier? I wonder where I get the palm leaves from, then. Huh. Because I am going to need linen cloth. Absolutely, I'm going to need linen cloth. A barbarian's chest guard. That thing is badass looking. Oh, there's knight helmets too? Destroyer helmets. Oh, where was that weapon at? I wanted to look and see what that... The portal guard saber. It looks like it's level 12. It does 30 defense and 82 damage. Which compared with the iron cleaver, it's not quite as good. Okay, so... It would have been one of those things we probably wanted to pick up last tier, basically, but we got it a little bit late. That's fine. It's a little bit of a bummer, but it's like, what are you going to do? For the Pirate Saber, I had wanted to make... We just needed to make something, in all honesty. Takes four iron bars, and all we got is three. That'll get our damage up to 114, and I did fancy smacking people in the face... One fourteen's not terrible damage. It looks like it's just like a little nubbin hand, though. <laughs> it looks like a knob that we affix to our arm and just like hit people with. Okay, I'm okay with that. I should probably focus on upgrading things. Then I mean, it's taking us just costing us a fortune in iron to get all this done. And I'm sure we'll get to a zone soon that'll have even more iron for us to play around with. It's just that time is not now. Minor healing potions don't really need you. Silk linen we'll hold on to because those will probably stack for later. Water is useful for a bunch of stuff, so I'll probably hold on to that too. Maybe a couple more portal stones just to take the edge off. And then it's back to the map, Nerd Castle. It is back to the map. So there's a couple places we can go. We don't know what resources are available here, so let's go to Swathing Swamps. I don't think it's going to be anything good. But we're going to go here. I don't think I'm going to hit the next boss until I have iron gear all nice and sorted out. I definitely think we need better iron gear, but that might require a little bit of farming and something to kind of bang my head against for a little while. And would you looky there, we found ourselves a zone with iron. We've also got to upgrade all of our tools. That's the other part of it is that like our tools are definitely of inferior quality right now. They're not doing super amazing. And I would not complain. Ooh, this is a big old seam right here. Got ourselves a vein. I'm mining in the soil like a man who's on oil. I don't know what being on oil means, but you know what? It rhymed for the moment, so I just went with it. Cool. 22 iron ore. This looks like the kind of map where we could really make out like a bandit if we need this iron ore. 
Perfecto. Let's dig ourselves out of here, shall we? That nasty fungal soil that we're hanging out inside of. I don't think we... We got a 64 stack of coal. I don't think we're going to need that much more. This map is looking really, really fertile, though. This is looking like the kind of map where we could basically achieve the next tier. Make myself a little bridge. I could, like, jump the better part of that, but the second that I do, I know I'm going to miss, and I'm going to look like an idiot on the internet again. And I really try to minimize the amount of time that I look stupid on the internet every single day. It's an obsession of mine. I think we're probably going to have to get rid of some of these Rorks. Once these Rorks have all been out-wrestled. We'll take that vein over there because it looks like there's a little bit more iron to be had as well. I think these little guys drop iron too. The Orcs anyways. I don't think that the Swooper do, but... There we go. Got him perfectly. No, that's a hit. That's a hit. It's like he's dropping emeralds. We might have to fight this guy the hard way. Ooh, we dropped gold ore. I don't know what I need gold for. I do hope they add some kind of vendor system in this game. Like, I don't know, merchants or something that you can buy stuff from. Maybe leapfrog a little bit. It would add extra treasure too. Like when you break and open all the pots and stuff, you'll get like a couple coins each time. And then there would be specific stuff that you couldn't build from the vendors. And it wouldn't necessarily be better, but it would be like parallel to the stuff that you're currently working on in any given tier. So that you could fill things out. The set would look different. Like the merchant set would look a little bit different or something like that. I, I think that kind of stuff is sweet. I like options when it comes to like clothing myself as a warrior. I like to have like selection. When you go into the store, you'd be like, oh, I don't know. That doesn't look nice. How does has a purple one look? Yeah, these pants are a little skinny on me. I don't think I could rock these right now. But if you have them like in a straight leg, we might be able to do that. You got these in a chino? Can we do that? You got these in a chino? You don't have these in a chino? Okay, I was hoping you had these in a chino. Oh, God. I love little family guy like lines like that where they just like repeat a funny sounding word over and over and over again. And it's like, I don't know why it's funny. It just is. This is a giant mushroom right here. Like, what does this mushroom do if I destroy it? It just gives me water and a big bloomer seed. I can now grow big bloomers, apparently. It looks like there's a little cave down in here. Let's have some exploration time, shall we? That's what we're here for. Ah, we got a gazer. Hold on. Catching us with those gazer beams. Which, coincidentally, was the name of the guy in The Incredibles. He carved his name in the wall with his eye lasers. Oh, we've got obsidian down here. I think we needed obsidian for something. Like, maybe like an altar upgrade? Or maybe like the next upgrade of our crafting bench? Either way, I'm going to take home a couple stacks. Oh, we got a green portal shard out, too. I wonder when they start dropping that lovely experience on us. There's always a lot of farming. Whenever they transition from one color to the next, you got to farm a whole bunch. Or maybe it's just a stone that's outside of its tier right now, which is cool because I like it when sometimes you find higher tier stuff in adventure games. It's cool to find something that's better than what you should have at the given moment. It's enticing. It makes the player feel like they're connected and there's a point in exploring if they can occasionally get ahead by just looking around a little bit. I don't see anything down there. That might be the rooftop of a dungeon. I don't think that it is, but it might be. Huh, it's kind of weird how the roof is. They got like a... I don't know what that arch is called. Is that arch in Cincinnati? I'm sorry, my geography is weak even for my own country. Either way, that's where my parents, like my dad like proposed there or something like that. So my parents are always like excited about the arch or whatever it is. I don't know. That proposal shit's hella scary. That shit is terrifying. Like you're basically legally tying your life to somebody for like the rest of your life. They get your stuff if you mess up. That's like, man, it's getting real up in here. I don't know if I can live by these rules. Looks like we got some kind of little treasure hole down here. My suggestion would be that we connect these somehow. There we go. Make it a tad safer and just make it so I can walk in a straight line. My jumping skills, however, leave a lot to be desired. It looks like this is supposed to be a dungeon right here, but the map generator did kind of like a weird fragmented reality. I don't know. Looks like the map generator did kind of like a weird burning crusade thing where it's just like fragmented and floating all over the place. God, what a great expansion for World of Warcraft. I had addiction issues, though. I had to stop playing MMOs. I was at the point where I was playing like 20 hours a day, falling, like, falling asleep at the keyboard every single day. And at a certain point, you got to admit you have a problem. And I think you didn't definitely be addicted to MMOs. Like, you can do it just like anything else. 
uh, in reality, it's being addicted to like an alternate reality. That's basically what it is. Yeah, I'm thinking it was supposed to generate a dungeon right here. Something went wrong though. Something went oddly. There we go. I was hoping I could clip him. Didn't really want to lose his treasure. It looks like we got a gate down there that goes somewhere. This might actually be a pretty swell opportunity. God, I got to hold my breath when I jump. Sorry, that's just me. This might be a pretty sweet opportunity to look for iron out here somewhere, but go ahead and fix my stone or fix my pickaxe real fast. We haven't upgraded it in a while. We're going to have to pretty soon, though. Definitely starting to feel a little bit of attrition when it comes to both my weapons and my tools. I may actually just go in and build a bow first. I don't really know what the right course of action would be, but I don't see any iron ore back up in there, which is really what I'm doing a diagnostic for at the moment. That's all that I really want to know. I don't know if diagnostic was the right word. Maggot, I'm sorry, but you're right there on the edge of the map, and it's making me nervous. Picked up a mushroom off him, though, and it looks like there's another little treasure cubby back in here. I like the word cubby. Don't judge me. I just wanted to say the word cubby in an episode. That's all that I've ever wanted. That was the whole point behind this. It wasn't to play video games on the internet. It was so I would have an excuse to say cubby during a Portal Knights playthrough. That's all that it was. That was the motivation the entire time. The question becomes, now we got to get back. So let me pull out a dirt block. A dirt nasty low block. And then we will slot in some shards of... Oh, I got a bunch of shards. Hell yeah. Good. I was hoping I wouldn't have to farm. It looks like we're going to be able to stay ahead of the curve. That gold ore... No, I have no concept of what it's used for. Probably jewelry would be my guess. If I just had to throw one out there. I hope we have enough obsidian. Really, really excited to see what we can use that for. I know there's an upgrade somewhere that we can use it on. I remember seeing it. Alright, so where's this going to go? You can actually look at the map. And it'll tell you. It looks like we're going to a little secret knobby zone. And it's going to be an ice zone, it looks like. Silver Drift. We're not going to go to Silver Drift just yet. We'll do that in the next episode instead. What we're going to do here is we... Oh, it's keeping that tab open. Are going to go back to the launch point. I need to get more iron. That's pretty much what it comes down to so that in the next episode... And look at that iron field right there. It'll bring a tear to your eye. Unfortunately, we got to kill about a thousand mobs in order to get after it. What's that green? Oh, it's a Hallow Knight. Okay. I was going to say, I don't know what that green thing is over there. Tab? I'm tabbing my target? Ow, oh, balls. Why you do this to me? Is it possible to be a leader and a grunt at the same time? Those two things seem to be at odds to my mind. Like, you can't be a grunt and also a leader simultaneously. Like, you're either the leader or you are the grunt. Right? I don't think he'll be able to get me up here. That's one of those annoying mobs that has that dodge mechanic where they just like dodge you over and over and over again. And frankly, I'm just going to sit right here and kill both of them. Nice and easy. And then I'll go down and I'll grab the shards because we can't afford to lose them right now. I think we're probably on the edge of the point where we're going to swap over to green shards pretty soon. But I can't guarantee it. Why is he taking so little damage? It's got to be like some flat resistance thing to like copper weapons or... Wow, he actually hits really hard. I thought I was going to face tank that, and I found out the hard way that, no, you really, really aren't. You probably shouldn't do that. Either way, we've earned our iron here, so let's go ahead and mine that on out. I think I'm just about out of time for the day, and while I do hate to leave you all behind here, I'm going to farm out the rest of this iron, and then I will see you in the next episode for a whole bunch of crafting. We should be able to retrofit our character fairly well. Not totally positive where I'm going to get a lot of the silk and other stuff from that we need right now, but I'm sure we'll track it down. It can't be that difficult to find. The game seems to be pretty intuitive as far as that kind of stuff goes. So I will see you in the next episode of Portal Knights. It was a pleasure and a privilege to spend a little bit of time with you and hang out for a while. See you all there. Bye, everybody.